Hello, viewers all over the world. My name is Apostle Dr. Cassie. They call me the preaching as a copy and the preaching catalyst, the old firewood, Akara War, aka the lion killer. Now, don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Now, there's a video that is trending how South Africa people uh, burnt down uh, Omega Fire Ministry. Now, I want you to sit down listen to this testimony. Please, I want you to tag uh, Niger Craziest and other people who are carrying the fake news about. Please help me tag them. Good day. My name is uh, Gift Mate. I am a South African youth. Um, I'm, I'm here to clarify a few things that have been going on online, just to correct the whole narrative that has been going on. Uh, I would like to let you know that we as South African youth are not responsible for burning down of the church in Johannesburg uh, branch, which is OFM Johannesburg. We love Apostle Johnson Suleiman. I know I love Apostle Johnson Suleiman because I've been following him since 2011. And I am sure that this is not uh, from us as South African youth. It's from the haters that are trying to stop the progress that has been going on and seeing that the church is growing and the word of God is prevailing through this ministry. And the church will continue to march on and everyone who is against the progress and everyone who has done this will be brought to book very soon because the investigations are still going on and no one can stop the progress of investigations. So I would like to let you know that us as youth of South Africa, we love every pastor that is representing Omega Fire Ministry. We love our national pastor. We love uh, branch pastors. We love the church itself as Omega Fire Ministry. Praise the Lord, saints. This is Archbishop Bafana Stephen Zondo, the Bishop of the Rivers of Living Waters Ministries International. We are saddened by the news that the renowned anointed man of God, Apostle Johnson Suleiman from Nigeria, his headquarters here in South Africa has been burned down. That is an evil act and we condemn it with the strongest word of condemnation. That this should not be, if people have issues with the church, they should just sit down and talk. Never try to cause a rift between the South Africans and the Nigerians. Nigerians are our brothers and we are their brothers as South Africans. It was only a few years ago that even my church, which we built it in this country, our first church, our first auditorium was burned down by the community. Then later we discovered that the people that were doing this were actually working hand in gloves with the members of our church. Some of them were inside and others were outside. Therefore, saints, take heart. This thing is happening. The last thing that I want to say one more time is that South Africans loves Apostle Johnson Suleiman. I attended one of his programs. I found politicians, people in high position. I found business people. I found celebrities there. And I was one of the religious person. I found even the musicians that I know, that are renowned in this country. Now, South Africans, South Africans, and we South Africans, we love Omega Fire Ministry and its founder. Greetings, everyone. I am Pastor Paul Adogan, the son of the Restoration Apostle, Johnson Suleiman. I'm here to clarify some things and to set the record straight. Omega Fire Ministry South Africa, Johannesburg specifically, was not burned down by the South Africa youth. This is not a good image. You are giving to the continent of South Africa, the good people of South Africa. This is a wrong image. And anywhere you are, you are a content creator, you are a YouTuber, take down that content immediately. South Africa is a good country. The people are good people. Whatever you are putting out there is not the real content. Apostle Joseph Suleiman, Omega Fire Ministries, they are loved in South Africa. I am the resident pastor. 
And I'm telling you right now, I'm in South Africa. You can see where I'm standing. I'm standing on the ground, Omega Fire Ministries, the very self burnt church. You know, this is the church. The place burnt is the auditorium. The children's church is still intact. You can see behind me is the office. So, whatever they are telling you out there, they are lies. This can actually now um, uh, tell more about the lies that are going on out there about the person of Apostle John C. Suleiman. I am shocked. As the resident pastor of OFM Johannesburg, I am shocked to hear about what you are saying about the person of Apostle John Suleiman and the Omega Family Suisse, Johannesburg, South Africa. The public must know this. These are satanic agents going out there to destroy the person of Apostle John Suleiman and Omega Fire Ministries. This is actually from haters, people who are not comfortable with the progress of the work in South Africa. The investigation is still going on. Yes, the police are doing their job, and uh, whoever is behind this will be brought to book. Yes, justice will catch up with them. I am the one in the midst of this. You never reach out to me to know what is going on. You never thought it wise to find out from the pastor himself to see what is going on. And the Bible says that in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 21, the Bible says, listen, all of you, for those of you who were part of that wickedness, remember this scripture. It says, though hard joy in hand, the wicked shall not be punished, but the seed of the righteous, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. We are moving on. And I'll be hearing people say, what is happening? I told them, we are happening. What is going on? I told them, we are going on. 